Welcome to the Plan Network. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install ClearOS Community, that is a version 6 on your virtual box. Let me first tell you what is ClearOS. ClearOS is nothing but is a formerly uh, named Clark Connected, and this is a Linux distributor based on CentOS and Red Hat and, and Enterprise Linux, designed for use for small and medium enterprise network through give for purpose of gateway and to network servers to connect a web-based administration interface that will be connected to your gateway server and to this network administrator. It's designed alternative to small medium business server also. And uh, links are these to download this uh, clear OS community 6s. Uh, let me show you. So this is the virtual box. Just open the Google and type virtual box. When you click on the first link of virtual box, when you click on this, this is the site. Where you can, can we can where you can download uh, this is the version of 4.13.16 uh, uh, for Windows, Solaris, and for Linux OS this is supported. And for ClearOS community, just type Google and type ClearOS. This is the uh, open this uh, link. And when you open this link, here is the two supported is there ClearOS community, ClearOS professional. Uh, for the ClearOS community, you can download this ClearOS community for the latest version six. Uh, this ISO image 32 bit. If you want to download 5 MB, 64 bit MB, you can download from Torrent also. Torrent and this one VMware Enterprise, you can download for 32 bit and 64 bit VM basic virtual box PC. These are the different kinds of flavors you can go ahead and download this one. For if you want to have the previous version of ClearOS means 5, you can download this ISO image showing. And for this players professional means it's showing about this uh, one day one month of uh, evaluation is a 30 days that means uh, you need to create an account before downloading this is the account where you can download before you need to select your product like showing professional like basic standard that will be the most popular use and the premium you can select whichever you want to want and you need to create an account after that after creating an account just click on this download board and you can go ahead with the download that will be available for 30 days uh, let me show you how to install in your virtual box this clear which i have downloaded already this one is a community which i have already downloaded and uh, let me let us install in virtual box click on create and type here clear uh, os just go ahead and uh, click on next assign the uh, ram as much as and click on next and this one hard drive now we are going to create yes this one is the this image i also image would select click on next and this is the hard disk size and going at least 30 gb and the location where you are going to install if you want by default you can keep arrows if you want to change you can change so click on create now uh, just go to the settings upon the settings uh, you can collect go to this row and have select clear other windows and here is uncheck the floppy scroll down and then into select your uh, storage iso image assign your iso image go to and here is to select yeah go to this back and here very clear is you have assigned just double click where you have downloaded just assign your iso image and go to the network assign the bridge adapter click ok and click to stop so and uh, you can see on the screen uh, automatic booting 37 seconds showing and if you want to install or upgrade existing system means you can select the option if you want to install this with the basic video drivers mean if you want to install with a small screen means you can select this option resume the installation system means whenever you get any error means that means un unboot means normal means you can select this one normal booting as a boot from local drive you can select this one memory test this one showing so i am going to select about this one uh, so i am going to uh, select my install or as a press enter
is a welcome screen click on next select your uh, language whether you you are from chinese or hindi or french german you can go ahead i am selecting by default english only this is a you keyboard language select your english us and this is the basic storage installation device showing whether you can install with the basic device or installation with uh, specialized storage device go ahead with that you need to have sand in this option i'm going to select the basic storage device and just click on next uh, here showing storage device made below contains the data that is at least showing 30 gb much the size uh, given this could be because the device blank and a partition if you have any this it will be if you have any data mix it will form it so i'm keep going yes discard any data is there so i'm mean, giving a host name is as by default system dot domain name if you want to change it, you can change it. so click on next uh, this is the time location that i um, need to check sign so uh, we can select from here also asia kolkata yeah okay so select which country you belong to according to your time zone select click on next and need to assign the root password please remember this root password after assigning again click on next and here is the installation device showing types either you can use all space for installation or else you can have a replace the existing linux partition means that uh, suppose you have windows also that will be formatted that will be removed and your uh, clearance will be installed or else if you have linux or fedora means that will be also for removed and installed this clearance only and this is a shrink current system means it will be installed along with your uh, windows and other linux fedora along with clearance this is a free space which you need to give a uh, assuming data partition manually assigning which one this is a custom created so I will use this, use all the space and remove the partition selected. By default, it will be do everything. So automatically click on next. Also showing by man, um, automatically is assigned this swap partition. See, and the device, the booth is given 500 and this LVM is created. So we need to do not need to give any partition. If you want to give one more uh, partition means you can click on create it. So click on next. So it's showing this a following device has been selected to just format it. It will be if you have any data, this it will also format. You need to take a backup before formatting. So click on format and we need to showing that it will be selected. None of the dates, any data will be there. So we need to select with it will be lost to show. So we need to select write this to write changes to this. That is will be formatted and creating partitioning is giving whatever is there manually automatically is created so assigning the partition for LVM swap um, boot and slash home assigning this partition so here is selected this is the bootloader is showing we don't know to we do not do anything here just click on next checking dependency here installation is uh, starting the installation is in progress uh, my friends you can have a coffee or tea till this installation is completed it will take uh, not more than your 10 minutes so you can go ahead my friends to have a coffee or tea Now this uh, installation has been completed, so showing congratulations, your clearest community is installed successful. Please reboot and uh, need to upgrade after reboot showing. I am going to reboot it now.
this is the installation after rebooting it's going to need to go to about this welcome console you can set up this network on the system uh, your browser is supported opera sorry opera and firefox chrome and this one is your safari internet explorer uh, where you need to enter this ip address in this browser so that you can uh, configure this uh, clearance let us con go to this ip address and start this uh, configuration so this ip address i am going to type in the browser let us just type http s semicolon double type 192.168.1.105 and give a port number 81 that is the ip address of this one and here's the connection is secure uh, just i understand the risk here add exception and click confirm the security and going to see system dot domain and line here is the login page is coming and you need to type your uh, username else you can type uh, username is your root and give a password which you have given within the installation click login so this is your getting started say installation guide is want to add user guide means it does not show you any instruction you can go ahead with the installation guide it will show you everything step by step how to use this and here is a clear center is showing but and here is about instructions virtual box cloud boot market less what is clear is system requirement red installation Red trapping is this way and you go to home page about this one so you can see on the screen this is the preparation installation when you click on this starting the installation means i also image show you how to install this this is a virtual machine you need to have memory file to have this usb uh, audio or not quite showing with the screen showing step by step showing with the image installation about whether you can go for installation visa or also showing and documentation this is the required support it's showing when you click on this support it how to support this uh, software is showing uh, installation uh, everything showing about this one so it's showing about this uh, switch rock box how showing about clicking on next uh, we can continue or is easier showing to refresh this you can open in any browser. I have opened in a Firefox. On uh, this setup is showing about configuration, internet domain, showing host name, date and time, marketplace. Click on next. Yeah, which one? Let us get your network up at running. The software is virtualized, and you can configure in roles and roles. This is the private server mode is showing. And this is a public server mode. Uh, gateway mode unavailable this one you need to have at least two network card for this mode showing if you want to set up we'll go for the private you know have only if you want to have for public means you can select click on next this installation wizard uh, here is the complete instruction showing we are configuring this ethernet ip address showing if you want to edit means you can edit the gateway is connected dns group is connected so with the dns server click on next we come on to the dns server here then it will come to registration page after completing your registration page it will come to the configuration then it will come check for internal host domain marketplace finally it will come to download and finish the solution you go one by one everything we check about this one it's testing the dns lookup uh, here you can use google dns server 888.8.8.8.8.8.4 dns look success click on next it comes to registration and then here is thanks for choosing a players install a players community or which this one i have we have selected okay 30 days means it will become to this for professional and then it will comes to your software updates it will update the software so showing available software is now checking it will show the list of software so these are the clearer centers or core base backup settings home main notification showing clear all else are updated click on next it's 
updating the respiratory and packaging these dependence in showing about this one so it's showing about 25 20 and it's downloaded and it's 322 25 is completed web config php so here is we can go for command also just click on command and it's asking administrator password SMG password alternate method also showing uh, CEO is showing press F2 to launch in graphic or console mode or F4 to analyze your network analyzer top IP type or system you can shut down screen to select shut down this shut down or it's halt or a slower means new so these are the options uh, you can see over here let me show you about this one uh, just press F4 so it's showing to press uh, the press any key to continue uh, RP traffic monitor like all interface it will show you everything here if you want to have a go back and click control X it will be go back once again I will show you about this interface IP address again it will show you about this activity page showing see these are the two connected networks showing when you need to go back means if you want to have more options press M click control X to go back and if you want to filter means you can do it exit means you can exit just if you want to reboot means reboot system halt means you can shut down logout means press logout this is the login so so if you have any clarification during the installation if you get any problem means you can comment the below to my video so thank you for watching my IT Cloudnet video please subscribe to my videos and likes and comments uh, this is the end of my video today uh, tutorial video thank you for watching